Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to send users push notifications using PHP. So this sends push notifications to every user that is using your app and has subscribed for push notifications. So I'm assuming you've already set up your project in one signal. If you have, we can continue. If you have not watched my previous tutorials, so first we need to find a host because we will need to upload a PHP file. I've found a host and my host will be 00 web host. So just go to this site if you don't have another host. So once you are in 00 web host, just log in and the quickest way to do it if it's your first time or returning is to use Google login. So just click on login with Google. Then choose your account. So once we are logged in, if it's your first time, you have to create a new site and follow all the instructions. If it's not your first time and you already did the creation, just choose your site and click on manage website. So our main focus is on files and we want to upload a file. So you go to file manager and click on upload files. We need to upload our PHP file so that we're able to access it from our application through this hosting. Go to public HTML. Then once you are here, you're going to create a new file. We have to create a PHP file. Let's call it, uh, you can name it anything you want. I'll call mine Super Sketch. Super Sketch. Dot PHP. Don't forget to add the extension dot PHP. Then create, open the file you just created and once you select it click on the pencil like image there to edit so you find it's empty just paste the code we copied earlier you can find the code in description then once we paste it there we need to change a few parameters so we'll go to one signal don't close this just open a new tab and go to one signal we we'll need our app ID and the web key. So open one signal, login. Once you log into one signal, I'm hoping you already have your app already set up here or your project. If not, you can create a new project. So my project is not here. So let's quickly create one. You are lucky for this tutorial because I don't have this project already running. So I'll just create one. But I've already done a tutorial on how to create or add a project to one signal. So quickly add a name for your app or project. Then we choose Google Android, Firebase Cloud Messaging, then configure your platform. Then here we need to add our apps, Firebase Server Key and Firebase Sender Key. So we quickly open our Firebase. Once you are in your console, you will need to choose the project in which you want to implement one signal. So this project is supposed to be having your app already configured in it. In short, you're supposed to add your app. You can add your app here if you have not already done so. If you have, let's proceed. You click on menu, then you go to settings, project settings, then we go to cloud messaging here you will find your server key and the sender key is down there so the first thing you copy is 
the server key then go back to one signal add your server key there then go back again to firebase and uh, where is my firebase there then copy your sender id then go back again to one signal and paste your firebase sender id there so we've pasted our firebase server key and our sender key save and continue then here we choose native android then save and continue so it's we are done with the setup all we have to do is click done then here click on more if you're using a mobile device that will be hidden then click keys and ids once you are here we have what we need we have our app id and our rest key so let's go back to web host and see what is needed so we need our app id let's copy your app id from one signal there copy it and paste it here i'll show you your app id starting from there paste your app id there paste your app id there then go back and copy the rest key your rest key is supposed to be private go down then add your rest key after basic just in front of basic paste your rest key so once you've pasted the app id there and your rest key there then you are done with the configuration just save and close then now we need to copy the url of our file so to copy the url just tick the file and we're going to view it so once you click on view it will load your url and you have those errors there so our main key is to copy the link in the url box so just copy that then we are ready to implement in our project so go to your sketchware project so once you're in your project in the activity where you want to send the push notifications from just add a network component i've added a request network component and i've named it post notif so you can add your network request component there give it any name you want then to send the push notifications just go to your send button or whatever event you want to send the notification in this instance i'm sending the notification to users when i've uploaded the project so here you are going to add a notification sender block php just add it there then choose your network request component and the url host we paste the url we just copied from 00.webhost paste it there so it will be unique to the app name you made or the file name you used then the title you can add a title in there so i want my title to be the name of my project you can add anything you want for a title then i want the message 
to say new project uploaded then the image I want the image to be my icon so my image will be the icon of the project uploaded so these parameters you can set them up in any way you want you can use this same logic to send messages to users in your app notifying them about new features or any other thing you want so once i'm done with this simple setup my push notifications will be able to work i can send every user that's subscribed in my app to one signal a notification once my upload is done so let's test this just run the project so let's open our project and test if our notifications work so what you do is once the project is open so you click on the button where you set the send logic so that you can receive your notification as for me i set my logic on upload success so let me try to upload a simple project and see if i'll receive my notification so keep in mind that these notifications are received by all users who have the app installed and are subscribed to one signal notifications so make sure you've already set up your project in one signal if you haven't done so and you haven't also set it up in your app the notifications won't work so let's test let's choose any images for testing if you are going to upload anything otherwise by now if you click the send button you should have received the notification already so let's send this and see if we do receive notifications so project upload success and my notification has come there youtube player new project uploaded so this proves that our implementation works so follow this tutorial closely and it should work for you remember to set up your project both in one signal and in the application